kind of like the yeah, the thinner version of of Viva. It's like once this is out, the original game is like kind of everything it is and more. Yeah, obviously Banjo is not not at that stage now in here. It's it's still the new Banjo is in its infancy. So for for like Banjo Kazooie three. Um, was that uh, the idea of like making your own vehicles and that essential game mechanic? Did it, that uh, evolve from coming up with new things to do with banjo, or was that a separate idea that then hey, this works for banjo? It came from a, a separate idea. Um, we wanted to take a different approach to platform games, and we kind of looked at how traditional games had been approached. That the designers create the abilities, we give them to the player. And the player can only use the abilities as we've defined. Right. Whereas we thought, can we approach that from a different direction? Whereas the players actually get to define their own abilities, so they can choose how they want to complete whatever task they've been set. And then suddenly we had this concept sitting here, this this kind of idea of approaching platform games from a different direction, and then we kind of brought the two together. And right. um, the result is the uh, new banjo again. A very simple idea of wanting to combine um, pieces with different abilities, but the uh, the beauty of the concept was the player could combine those pieces in any order they wanted to, mm. and then at the end of it, whatever they created, you you put into the game, and it would just work. But the player wouldn't need to um, kind of calculate very complicated processes. The software would do that, and no matter what you built, the size, the weight, the shape, and you'd be able to put it in the game, and it would just work. But until until Xbox 360, we've never had a piece of hardware that's been capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's where the idea of the synthesis came from. I think uh, Rare fans would acknowledge this, um, that there is there's some sort of creative spark that Rare had. And I'm curious like what that what that kind of like creative spark on the development side you think is like what separates you guys from from everyone else. It's it's kind of difficult to say. I mean I'm only familiar with how Rare works and, and to me that is normal because there is no fear of trying something different. But even if even if we fail, I think that that is probably um, part of it. Not not afraid to take a risk. Um, so I guess along those lines, how much do you stick with something before you like brand an idea? I mean, has stuff gone pretty far down the line and then not made it, or um, uh, I was actually working on the game for 18 months before we decided this isn't this isn't working out. Rather than probably taking the um, easier option of finishing it and just getting out of it, no, we we want to do something that. It's, it's going to be remembered or it's different or it's that we're going to be proud of rather than just finishing something for finishing sake. And it had a it had a bear in it called Banjo and we just basically thought this we can do something with this character. So we basically took the character out of the game and word about the game and put it into the uh, the game that everyone knows as Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. So the eighteen months didn't <laughs> wasn't a complete waste of time. We did we did get some uh, bits and pieces from it. Yeah.